Hey everybody, I'm Nasty Mold, and today we're going to be doing the final quest in the beta. Now please bear in mind this is extremely unfinished. There's no actual cutscene yet. Let's start this one. Um, see? <laughs> and the quest itself is very messy at the moment. It's very unfinished, so this is not an accurate representation of what the final quest will be, but we are going to do it anyways. Where has the cackling cannoneer gone off to? The crew is worried. So it doesn't mark anything off either. We just have to find the cannoneer. I will be redoing and re-showing this quest when the final version or an updated version comes out. But for now, I just wanted to see what the pricing of that free mask will be. The free rebirther. So as far as I'm aware, if we go into the water, we should be able to see the cannoneer somewhere. Um, oh, we have like a line. All right, that works. Hang on, let me swim up and we'll fly over. It'll probably be a bit faster. Oh, there's a boat here. Interesting. The cannoneer went off on their own. In we go. Uh... Oh, okay. Are they at the end? This is cool. This feels very deep divey. Like the fact that maybe the cannoneer needed an oxygen line or something. Something to help themselves get back up, and we're not using that. Ooh, they probably should recharge there. We'll see. Down we go. Um, from what I've heard, there's no cutscenes down here either, really. It's a very unfinished product. Let's charge here really quick. This is very deep. I thought we would go into the Megalodon room, but I guess not. Oh my gosh. Holy, it is pitch black. You know, I'm not afraid of deep diving in video games, but I can see how this quest would be hard for some people. Cannoneer? Oh my gosh, they're actually here! Hang on, I can grab their hand, but I also want to just look at them. Wow, okay. Holding hands with my best friend. What's going on? A little janky cutscene. Krill! Oh! Three Krill. Are they staring at us? They're just swimming there. Menacingly. Bye! Well, I do hope that the final cutscene will have something to do with the Megalodon, because otherwise there's absolutely no reason. Oh, hello? No reason to have that door even open in the other quest. Wow, from down here, looking straight up, it looks really cool. Cannoneer! We came to their rescue. They were so cocky. That's okay, Cannoneer. That's part of your persona. I love you for it. I love their little legs kicking as we swim up. Okay. I think maybe we should be charged just in case. Uh, we can pass this plant here. Nice, it recharged us. That was so deep. Cannoneer. What were you looking for down there? It's actually quite a relief to get back to the surface. <gasps> that was me getting a breath of air. Okay, uh, Cannoneer has returned. Again, no cutscene, unfortunately. Hmm. Hello, Abyss Guide. 
We are done. What a wonderful cutscene that was. Alright, so the in-game currency mask for now seems to be 48 candles. It's super unsure if that will actually remain the normal price, so please don't get attached to it. I'm not going to buy it yet, just because the mask is apparently quite broken. And uh, I want to see if the price changes in the future, so that is the estimated pricing for now. I am going to try it on in the closet so you can see exactly what mask I'm talking about. Apparently those who use it in the water aren't getting the oxygen bar, so it does seem to be broken, or the ex extra oxygen bar anyways. So this is the mask we are talking about. This is the in-game currency one. It is supposedly 48 candles, but that may change. For an example of what I mean by the oxygen bar, here is the ultimate reward rebreather. When you go under, you have this extra green bar over your oxygen bar. So you have extra oxygen. Once the green bar wears out, you will start to work on your blue oxygen bar. So it adds quite a bit of extra time. And we are unsure of how much time the new in-game currency rebreather will add. The function does not seem to be added in the game yet. All right, and that is everything for the final quest for now. We will definitely be redoing it in the future, and I will be updating you on any rebreather changes. Thanks so much, as always, for watching, you guys. I hope you found this helpful. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye. <laughs>